Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'd like to welcome you guys to the channel. You were big dog back with another one take review for Black Clover episode 115. Lord, was that? Listen, somebody told me, you know, I get, I get, I can't think. I think it was, uh, I think the name was SMD on, uh, who left the comments like, hey, these next two weeks, really looking forward to, but like the next 10 weeks are gonna be like really something to look forward to. Got to say, brother, you was exactly right because this episode was marvelous, okay? Not fantastic, not phenomenal. It was marvelous. It's not a word I use very often, you know what I'm saying? I know they probably be on like the same level, but hey, it's not a word I use often. This episode was great because first we see Ronnie and we see exactly who Ronnie is. Ronnie is not who, uh, <laughs> Ronnie is not who Ryan thought he was, okay? Not who anybody thought he was, because first of all, he left a big hole. I mean, a big gaping hole in Ryan. Take him out of commission. Patrick has to run there and starts trying to heal him. And then we he, he grabs the magic, the last magic stone, and he places it down. No longer needs, well, no longer needs a uh, run his body. And we find out that, yes, the person behind this all along has been a demon. I think a lot of people kind of suspected me personally. I think I kind of had my own theories. I don't know if this was necessarily one of them. I know a demon was definitely involved and he definitely was like the person pulling the strings ever since 500 years ago when this whole thing got implemented. We learned so much new information. We kind of we learned that, hey, he's the person who manipulated the humans into killing all the elves. So yes, the humans did kill the elves, but they were manipulated. And it's easy to manipulate humans because, hey, Real humans, <laughs> they want more power, they want money, you know, it's, just, it's easy to manipulate us. That's exactly what they did to get rid of the elves. Not only get rid of the elves, got rid of their magical, well, not got rid of their magical power, but then, and getting rid of the elves and increased the humans' power because, hey, this is what the demon wanted to do. And thus, you have the, the, the hatred that was born from the, uh, the elves. For the humans because of the demon. So he's the guy, like he's the puppeteer of this whole thing. And not only that, the guy's the guy's damn strong. Okay. Damn strong. I mean, I'm talking. It's not even close right now. Okay. It's, it, it, I think that's what that's the moment I think I've kind of been waiting on. It's like, mm, we've seen strong people and people have done certain things, but they, they've never been like, you know. Never just really just made you worry. Except the time they fought licked, uh, so the, the actual one. So that was one moment that you would try to like, okay, this is this guy is real deal. So now we get this demon who we don't know his name yet, but we know definitely hundred percent this guy's the real deal. Okay, not playing around. And he's telling Patrick like, hey, everything you've done, this mission that you thought was licked, he doesn't want this at all. This is all me. You brought. Everything that has happened so far, this war is all because of me and you were my pawn in it the entire time. You're nothing like Lick. Licks won't want to, to be friends with humans. He knew that not only did Lick know, I'm pretty sure Lick know that like the humans didn't want the person behind it, but also Rhea knew because when Rhea said he's able to tell when someone is lying and when he talked to the Wizard King, he realized then that like, hey, this guy is not lying. He actually does want the best for us. And so now you're in a now they're in a situation where it's like, okay, this whole time people we we've been taught one thing or we we thought one thing and it's not that at all. This guy just been manipulating us the entire time. And 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 it brings out the despair. Lick, I mean, our pastor thought he was like Lick because he had a four-leaf grimoire. Not only did he have one, Lick had one. But my only thing is Licked had a four-leaf grimoire, but was Licked the uh, first four-leaf grimoire to turn into a black grimoire, which, you know, if we discover uh, the way to create a black, uh, I mean, a five-leaf uh, grimoire, is if a four, the person who possesses a four-leaf grimoire gets engulfed with so much despair. And I'm thinking that's the, the grimoire that Licked has, I mean, that Asta has was uh, Licked because... I'm pretty sure the despair of seeing all of his fellow elves and his wife and his child get murdered in front of him would create that despair. So that's creating that first group more, except this demon wasn't able to get to that one. And I'm thinking this demon was the same demon that, demon that the Wizard King killed, but uh, he didn't have the grimoire when he fought him. So now this is an elf with his full body and a grimoire. 
But the only thing about it is that when a grimoire, maybe a grimoire, once you have a five leaf grimoire, it, 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 the fifth leaf stands for a demon. But if you if a demon possesses it, that's just him. He's the demon. But if a person doesn't, it just has it, it's another maybe another demon escapes through some realm to get into that grimoire. Who knows? You know what I'm saying? I still kind of like kind of iffy on that. But I'm thinking my my I feel like my theory is pretty good. It might be wrong nonetheless. But yes, I definitely do think the one that Asta has is the one uh, Lick had because I, even though he saw it, he's able to use the sword. Like all of that is just too much that's tied up together because I think that's the connection that Asta has between Lick. The baby that's now, now the whole time we've been saying that like you know is like he's an elf as well, but like he's only half elf because the baby he's the reincarnation or the reincarnation the reincarnated elf inside of you know is the baby that Lick had with Tessa what's her name Tess, Tessia I just watched the uh, the Witcher so the dang Tessia is in my head but either way it goes the princess so that baby's inside of Lick I mean not inside of Lick inside of you know. So that's why he has the power that he has. So if Asta has, you know, I mean, if Asta has Lick Supreme War and Lick, I mean, and, and you know, has the reincarnation uh, of uh, Lick and Tessa's child, that connects the two, I guess, in a way to make them brothers or, or, or siblings or some kind of way related because they're connected through Lick. Nonetheless, <laughs> I did, I, I did not think of any of this. I just want to put this out there. I didn't think of any of this before I press play. I didn't think of none of this. I just press play, and all of this has just been coming out of my mind. So if it kind of seemed kind of jumbled up at times, that is exactly why. Because, hey, this is what this is what it is. Oh, man. This, this, and this is, I'm thinking, I'm feeling just kind of like at the first half of the episode. Because once the, the Grimoire turns, uh, get the fifth uh, uh, leaf, the demon takes it. Not only does he do that, he, f we see Asta and you know fight him at first and easily get manhandled, and then they they team up because he like and like he has like word matches to wait when he says something it happens. Like and this was before he got his grim war, so no telling what the guy possibly can do now. Okay. And, just the scale as which they need to get to is is is, is shot through the roof that he went through. Okay, to get to wherever he's going, who knows where he's going. You probably gonna have to like torment the world because nobody pretty much can stop him because the Wizard King's dead. Good job, Nick. I mean, Patrick. That's on, that's on you. So <laughs> everything you thought was gonna happen, it's kind of not probably gonna happen. You have like I wouldn't mind seeing this guy go up against every single single Magic Knight just because he seems like he's he's that strong. Even though we do have one display of like him getting taking some damage, even though it's kind of like a paper cut when you know and Asta full power and they just had got a power increase before they did this attack and they made one little scar on this guy and this guy. He says heal and he's healed. Like, how do you beat this guy? You must either you have to lock him back up in something, or Oscar's gonna have to use his demon power, which we found more about this episode because the demon says, Hey, either only way they're keeping up as much as they are, because uh Yuno's loved by Mana and he has that reincarnation of the elf in him. Only reason Asta's keeping up because he says some meddlesome comrade of his, comrade being in another demon, is, you know what I'm saying, giving Asta the power that he needs. But he says, if you don't hurry up and take over this body, you will be killed as well. So you can tell he kind of like, hey, I don't want to have to kill you because you're a demon too. But if you don't take over this kid, you just going, you just in my way. This like, episode was great, okay? Still not over, okay? <laughs> because not only do we see, you know what I'm saying, the result of the, the, the magic stones, but we see what happens if any of the other elves would have fully uh, let their malice take over. None of them got to fully let their malice take over because I still stopped them every single one of them before it happened. But we saw when it, when it, what happens when it does, they get turned into dark elves. And Dark Elves, nothing like just regular Elves. They are definitely stronger because we saw the... Listen, Austin and Yuno had just got a power boost. And then they turned 
Patrick into a dark elf. He, he's now just like he said he's just a um uh, um not not corpse but um uh, empty vessel, you know, and just for like darkness and hatred. And he is on full display because he he gives you know and Asta the business. So in his magical power, so much better now. He he used dark sword, dark light magic or something like it's it's crazy, it's crazy. But you can tell it's so much powerful than the, like this regular light magic that he used before. My only thing is this: if this guy, if the demon goes out and tell all the other elves that are outside and they're probably just like knocked out at the moment. And he says, and he tells them to rampage and they all become dark elves. This thing goes into a other nose, not a whole nother level. Because what people were doing before and how they was getting over the elves, I thought like, okay, the elves weren't strong enough and weren't, weren't as strong as they were portrayed to be. That definitely changed because they begin, they become a whole lot stronger. Okay, this, the, the whole thing just flipped on his head and it just got that much better. Not only that, we see... Patrick finna use an attack that we seen him use before when he was about to use it on uh, when we thought he was licked the first time when he was about to use it on you know and Asta. And we know how powerful that attack is. We know how powerful he just became. So how do they stop it? They don't. They die. <laughs> I'm convinced they die. I don't know. I guess this is where Black Clover ends. <laughs> Cause I don't see how they I don't see how they win it. But I am 100 percent looking forward to, to them trying. Okay. I'm looking forward to them trying. I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on with the demon and Austin's grimoire. And like, will he like, hey, if you want to win, let me out. You know, it's like also Naruto Karamas type stuff. Like, oh, this is really, this, this, <laughs> this is great. This is great. It's right before the holidays. So this is a great Christmas present for me, man, to see this show do this. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Uh, you guys, let me know what you thought about this episode down in the comments. Hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.